China's COMAC is making waves with the C919, while Russia is shocking the world with the MC21. Yet these may not be the greatest threats to the long-standing dominance of the two giants. In the battle between old rivals Boeing is far from silent, the company is quietly preparing to do something big. It is secretly developing a plan that could reshape the future of air travel and entirely new aircraft, a never-before-seen design rumored to be the true successor to the 737 MAX. Interestingly, this mysterious jet is said to be not only one of a kind but even superior to Airbus's A320. So what exactly is this aircraft, and how could it possibly outperform them all? Let's find out. At the beginning of 2024, a horrifying incident lay bare the brutal truth about the American aerospace giant just six minutes after takeoff on an Alaska Airlines flight, a door plug blew off midair, and subsequent investigations revealed an undeniable humiliation. Four crucial bolts had never been installed. This disaster exposed a severe breakdown in the company's quality control system, prompting the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration to impose strict limits capping production at 38 aircraft per month, and in a direct blow to Boeing's autonomy, temporarily revoking its authority to self-certify aircraft. But the crisis didn't stop there. The incident marked only the latest chapter in the dark legacy of the 737 MAX. Ironically, the core problem lies within the company's once proud legacy, its growing obsolescence. Despite four major upgrades over more than half a century, the MAX still retains the same fuselage design from the 1960s, a structure no longer fit for the standards of the 21st century. Efforts to patch this aging platform to keep up with competitors forced the company into risky engineering compromises, culminating in the MCAS system. MCAS introduced to compensate for fundamental design limitations led to two consecutive tragedies in 2018 and 2019, claiming 346 lives grounding the entire 737 MAX fleet for nearly two years and shattering public trust in the Boeing name. Currently, while the MAX 7 and MAX 10 continue to struggle for certification, the U.S. Department of Justice has reopened a criminal investigation leaving the U.S. manufacturer facing potential prosecution and harsher penalties than ever before. The 737 MAX, once the backbone of Boeing's profits, has now become a structural burden, limiting its ability to scale up production to meet global demand. To make matters worse, Boeing's rival Airbus has shown no sign of slowing down. In fact, it's accelerating at an astonishing pace. The company's A320neo has demonstrated superior fuel efficiency reliability and operational performance making airlines around the world increasingly favor Airbus over Boeing. Yet the threat extends beyond Europe. China and Russia have now joined the race with Comac's C919 and Russia's MC21, steadily blurring the line between leader and challenger. The aviation world is no longer a two-horse race between the aerospace giants. Analysts warn that unless the American giant quickly unveils a new reliable and competitive aircraft, the market share gap may soon become irreversible. And here comes the twist amid the storm of scandals mounting pressure and the risk of permanent market loss. Boeing has made a shocking and unexpected move. Recently, the company quietly appointed a new product chief for its commercial airplane division, a figure who previously led some of the most groundbreaking aircraft programs in this maker's history. This appointment arriving at a moment of immense pressure and historical significance signals a generational turning point. Indeed, according to the Wall Street Journal, the aerospace titan has quietly begun a top-secret project, the preliminary design of an all-new single-aisle aircraft. This marks the first chapter of the post-737 MAX era. The company is reportedly already in talks with major engine manufacturers laying the foundation for a design revolution that could redefine the entire future of air travel. This move is not merely speculation, it's an act of survival. The leadership has accepted the risk and is ready to bet the next decade on a completely new design. A new aircraft program will cost tens of billions of dollars and take more than a decade to complete, but Boeing knows that doing nothing would be far more expensive. The 737 MAX can no longer represent the company's future. To reclaim its status, the giant needs a symbol of rebirth, a declaration to the world that it still has the power to achieve the impossible. And what has been revealed so far about this new aircraft suggests that Airbus's rival may have finally made its smartest move in years. Wait, please take a second and hit that subscribe button. We know you're going to love what's coming next. So what will this airplane look like? This is not merely an engineering project, it is an effort to rebuild a brand's image after a decade of crisis. The next generation narrowbody jet expected to replace the 737 MAX completely and currently being developed under deep secrecy must serve as a bold declaration of Boeing's return to engineering excellence. 
Sources close to the project say the company has begun shaping the cockpit of the future, a clear signal that the American manufacturer is preparing for a complete architectural overhaul. This new cockpit finally breaks free from the outdated design philosophy of the 1960s. It will not only be smarter and more refined, but must also eliminate every doubt about the engineering mindset that once led to tragedy. After the MKS incident, a system introduced to fix a basic aerodynamic flaw in the old design, the American maker has been forced to prioritize simplicity and transparency. The new cockpit is expected to feature an advanced integrated alert and information system focused on reducing pilot workload and eliminating reasoning errors in high-stress scenarios. This includes the use of large display screens to present synthetic vision flight data, providing pilots with superior situational awareness even in poor visibility. Moreover, its avionics architecture will be built on an open platform allowing easier updates and certifications avoiding the rigid technical barriers of older systems. The goal is to create a flight environment where supporting systems no longer conceal design flaws, but intuitively and unquestionably enhance safety. This represents Boeing's redefinition of engineering responsibility from fixing design issues with software to achieving hardware perfection from the start. However, the real mystery in the program's trump card doesn't lie in the cockpit, but in its invisible power. To compete with rivals' seemingly unbeatable A320neo, which has set a new benchmark in fuel efficiency, the U.S. aerospace giant needs an unprecedented leap in performance. In early 2024, CEO Kelly Ortberg and senior executives reportedly flew to the U.K. for top-secret high-level talks with Rolls-Royce. While no official details were disclosed, industry observers believe the meetings focused on one bold objective, developing an entirely new engine system capable of redefining the single-aisle aircraft market. This is where the drama of Rolls-Royce's ultrafan technology enters the picture. Ultrafan uses massive composite fan blades combined with an advanced geared turbofan transmission, allowing the engine to operate at a much higher bypass ratio than any current jet engine. A higher bypass ratio means more efficient thrust leading to breakthrough reductions in fuel consumption potentially surpassing both CFM International's Leap and Pratt & Whitney's PW1100G engines used by Airbus. If Boeing and Rolls-Royce do proceed with this unprecedented partnership in the narrow body segment, it would be revolutionary. It could give new aircraft a 15% to 20% fuel efficiency advantage over the current 737 MAX, and more importantly, a clear edge over the A320neo. Should a narrow body variant of the Ultrafan finally come to life, the skies may never look the same again. This partnership is bold enough to shift the balance of power in global aviation, turning the U.S.'s new aircraft into the industry's long-awaited answer to its hunger for innovation. Yet to make the massive ultrafan work effectively, Boeing must address the core design flaw of the 737 MAX, its low landing gear. The painful lesson from MAX's low-slung design left a deep scar. Because the MAX inherited its fuselage from the 1960s engineers, had to mount the larger leap engines higher and slightly forward of the wings to maintain ground clearance. This unusual engine placement altered the aircraft's aerodynamic characteristics, giving it a tendency to pitch upward in certain flight conditions, the very reason why the MKS software fix was created leading to disaster. This time, the company cannot let history repeat itself. The new jet's landing gear will be taller, stronger, and more adaptable than ever before. It is being engineered to support a range of next-generation engines such as Ultrafan or other high-bypass competitors while optimizing aerodynamics and stability. The increased height not only enables future engine upgrades, but also improves aircraft balance and control during high-speed landings, especially on long-haul routes. This is a subtle yet groundbreaking improvement reflecting the company's determination to prioritize safety, flexibility, and long-term efficiency over all past compromises. Furthermore, in the race to win airline attention weight is the enemy, and this is where the U.S. maker's unmatched expertise in composite materials shines. The success of the 787 Dreamliner has proven this core advantage the ability to fine-tune aircraft structures for maximum strength at minimal weight. Decades of experience with carbon fiber and advanced materials now allow Boeing to create a perfect harmony between fuel efficiency and passenger comfort. The new narrow-body jet is expected to feature a high percentage of composite materials, potentially a composite wing or even a hybrid fuselage drastically reducing the aircraft's empty weight. This weight reduction is key. It not only boosts fuel efficiency when combined with the new engines, but also allows for an expanded cabin space. The result will be an aircraft that doesn't just compete. It redefines the narrow-body passenger experience with larger overhead bins, improved cabin humidity, and greater spaciousness, precisely what modern airlines are seeking to retain their passengers. 
Boeing's next-generation aircraft project, though full of promise, faces a series of critical challenges that test the company's resilience and credibility. This is not just a technological race, it's a battle for trust and survival. Analysts warn that whether the program continues will depend on the company's ability to overcome several decisive barriers. The first and most daunting challenge is financial pressure. Developing a brand new aircraft can cost tens of billions of dollars and take more than a decade before commercial delivery. This comes as Boeing's balance sheet remains strained by losses from the 737 MAX crisis and recent quality issues. Securing and sustaining funding over the next 10-15 years without undermining recovery efforts presents enormous risk. Next is the high-tech gamble. To regain an edge over the Airbus A320neo, the manufacturer must deliver a major leap in fuel efficiency, which means relying on next-generation engine technologies. One bold option under discussion is an adaptation of Rolls-Royce's Ultrafan for narrow-body aircraft, a move that could define the project's success or failure. But unproven technologies bring significant risks, cost overruns, certification delays, and unexpected technical complications. Another misstep in managing technological complexity could repeat past mistakes Boeing is desperate to avoid. Perhaps the most unprecedented challenge lies in regulatory and legal scrutiny. Following the 737 MAX and 787 Dreamliner incidents, the FAA has taken a far stricter stance limiting the company's self-certification authority and subjecting all production phases to intense oversight. For any new aircraft, the FAA is expected to enforce the toughest certification standards ever demanding complete transparency and exhaustive safety evidence. This will extend timelines, increase costs, and strip Boeing of the autonomy it once relied on. Adding to that are legal risks from the U.S. Department of Justice, DOJ. The agency continues to review the U.S. producer's compliance with its Deferred Prosecution Agreement, DPA. Any sign of negligence or cost-cutting during development could trigger criminal prosecution. This pressure forces the maker to overhaul not only its engineering processes, but also its internal culture, prioritizing safety over speed and profit. Finally, Boeing must navigate resource strain and market skepticism. Engineering teams are already stretched thin, focused on clearing a backlog of nearly 6,000 aircraft and completing certification for the MAX 7, MAX 10, and 777-9. Redirecting resources to a new program risks further delays and customer frustration. Airlines wary of Boeing's track record may hesitate to commit when the Airbus A320neo offers a proven safer alternative. To succeed, Boeing must deliver not just innovation, but credibility, proving that this time its promises will take flight.